Okay, so we ran out of time in the last uh, video and it cut me off, but it cut me off at a relatively convenient place. So, uh, you're going to have to just sort of go back once again. We had figured out, we, hit, we were talking about Hooke's Law, and we had figured out F equals KX. We figured out the force due to gravity of a 300 gram object, and we converted our stretches into meters, and we are now in the process of calculating our spring constants for our two springs. So the loose spring is going to be 2.943, which I already have up on my calculator, divided by 0.453. So we're going to call that 6.5 newtons per meter. And then K stiff is going to be 2.943 newtons divided by 0 0.200 meters. And so my stiff spring constant is going to be 2.943 divided by 0.2. We're going to call it 14.7 newtons per meter. So, the stiffer the spring, the higher the spring constant is going to be. Because this one is going to be 14.7 uh, newtons per meter. And that one, the loose one is going to be 6.5 newtons per meter. Okay. So, now uh, let's see what we want to do. The next thing that I, I, I'm going to actually have to come and uh, I think I'm going to do this off camera, but we had some times and we're going to talk about um, the bouncy motion. But I think I'm going to save that for the next video. Okay, what I'm going to say in this video is what is X? So suppose I have a situation and I've got a spring that's hanging with nothing on it and then I have another spring, well I have the same spring but the same spring now has a 100 gram mass on it and then I've got the same spring again and the same spring again has a 200 gram mass on it and I want to know what's X well I don't care about this part here I don't care how long the spring is I only care about how much it has stretched so I'm gonna call this zero meters and so then if I want to know how much the spring is stretched, let's say that is 10 centimeter, 10 or 0.1 meters, and then you know I, I could have done it here. Let's do it up like that to make it a little bit more even. Then this should be 0 0.2 meters. So the key thing is and it comes up in some of the questions that I'll ask and it'll come up in some of the questions you'll encounter. When you're measuring X in this equation, you ignore how long the spring is when there is nothing attached to it at all. So completely ignore the length of the spring. It has nothing to do with anything. The only thing that matters in X is the difference between how long it is when the weight is attached or when the force is attached because it doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to be going vertically it could be going sideways and so the, dis so the distance when the force is applied to the spring 
minus the distance that the spring is when there's nothing attached to it. Okay, and so I think I'm going to go grab a little bit more data, and I also got to grab a spring scale because I got to show you something about a spring scale, but we'll do that in the next video.